Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to a flashback of L.A. Noir. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Elsa? Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Not a scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. But God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. <laughs> Kelso is mad. It's not like we'll ever have to deal with Kelso, right? Manifest Destiny. Hey, that's just the reason why I said it. Where are we starting? Well... Earl Phelps. A shooting at the 111 Club. 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Whoa. Appears we didn't get all of it. Well, come on. Did your parents ever ask you to run away from home? Yes. No. God damn it. We just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. The judge? A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. We're gonna talk about that this episode. We're finally gonna see if Phelps is actually human. Well, I didn't want this to. is like the beginning of the end of the cases. You're behind so the wheel. I do want to say we will do all collectors before we do the last case. And I, so we'll do the. Oh wait. How am I gonna do that? Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Actually, I know how I'm gonna do it. We may be actually doing it sooner than you may think. Some of these collectibles. To the 111 Club? Have we ever been there before? Homicide guys are already inside. Dang it. Is it who I think it is? Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Fiddleston and Bo. Get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. 
Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree. Lamont and Tyree? Yeah. We've met the rest of the band. Now there are no peace. <laughs> I hate you, you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Uh, all right. So you're probably one... I... Never the same, are they? Trumpet. Oh, yeah, the case. Here we go. Well-maintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. No. What's that click? What? That's different. Oh, free. Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Right. Oh, what we got here? Another day, another dollar. Kept his stash close at hand. Oh, no. You should follow up on the musician angle. All right. We have two more things to look for before we get to interviewing a hostess. Let's go to the back room. Any idea or anything on your son? I don't want your hand. I want your pockets. Well, we have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? The answer is yes. No pockets. Okay. It's a lot of cigarette cartons. I wonder what's actually in them. Dozen packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Can we open them? I imagine there's probably something more in there than, uh... Is that a bar? Ho, 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 ho. These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. Right? They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Right? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that Another ship. day, another dollar. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try... Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Thank you. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. There's a good chance. Tell me about the incident. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. But you're not looking at me straight. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Yeah. Who's the Godric? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. I believe that. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, Matt. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent I wonder where we got the money from. All right. So that's everything we need to do here. Guess where we're going. Oh, wait. Can I do it? Hit this? All these cops. You know the way. You we're can drive. going to All the right. blue where room. Where to? That we know very well. We haven't seen the blue room yet. Besides the cut scene or two, but... Five o'clock already? Jeez. Wow. 
Oh, no one's at the door? That's different. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. Uh, Roy, come on. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Understand Fuhrer? Go free. I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? I forgot what that word means. But basically, Hitler. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Okay. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. I think you can help me, you just won't. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. I bet they're more helpful. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, Elsa. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Mm. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. Words are just words, cold words. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Wait. What is he up? Uh. All right, like I said, we are getting towards the beginning of the end of the game, and here's one of the incidents that caused this the beginning of the end of the game. achievement if you don't get caught which is pretty important to our playthroughs to 
get caught, it's a very bad time anyway. Can I train? Oh, no. It's just a lot of cars. Move in. Can't risk losing the trail. Oh, are we done already? What's that way? I'm gonna let the game take it away from here. Dang, this place is nice looking. We do know she was part of the morphine ring from one of the cutscenes after the Fallen Idol. Wait, what? You're gonna knock on the door? Followed us, and we followed her. This is important. PD. We're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. He's only a writer. He can't really help. My father says I'll there never be, be trouble, an actress. But... LAPD. We have some questions Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. <laughs> Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? Uh. You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Probably not, Mr. Cohen. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. I doubt that. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. A simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. That's not a good start. All right, how about the shooting? We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Uh, doubt. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life, quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. 
but we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. Hmm. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem the type to frighten that easy. We'll see. Uh. Hey. What's going on? Go. That fucking rat Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. <laughs> Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. All right, so what are we doing? Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robber detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Cool Ridge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Okay. That's easy. Right there, right there. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Yep. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Enough to arm three companies. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. This is the crate we recovered. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives! KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Okay. I say we bust in there. Let's bust in there and find the man. I feel like it's a really good play. Freak, I do this every time. No, wait, I'm right. Gosh, I hate this. No! I don't need to go to the interview room. All right, get us over there. You drive. Bus. You need to go over the case notes. Fun. Do we know where we're going? 